Hi, my name is Michael Picos, and I would like to share with you an expert tip uh, regarding the huddle. And I'm sure most of you are familiar with this concept, and probably a lot of you actually do a huddle every morning. But for those of you that don't, I'm going to strongly recommend that you consider doing it because having been in practice now 34 years, I can tell you that there's some huge advantages of spending just 10 minutes in the morning, if not more time if, if you can, but 10 minutes is really all you need to preview basically what's going on for the entire day. Now, that said, what we like to do in our office is preview from the day before the next day's schedule, as well as in the morning once again. So it's kind of a double um, preview, if you will, double huddle, maybe we can call it that. And the advantage of that is, in essence, there are things that need to be done uh, many times, I say the day before, it's not necessarily the evening before, but even even the early early morning, to just browse and should there be the need for, for example, a surgical guide, uh, something in advance, some prosthesis, some guide, etc., then we make sure that we have it on board and we're on a barrist the next day at time of surgery. So it's kind of a check and balance more or less. So we, again, preview from the day before, and then morning of, and it sets a tone for the day because quite honestly, I like to know. And by the way, I have my staff tell me what's going on. I just listen and they take turns on whose turn it is to, to tell me what the day looks like, our procedures, specifically what we're doing, any post-operative uh, patients that we're seeing that may be problematic, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Just nothing like having a plan in advance, that's all. It makes things much better than just trying to <laughs> start the day off and here we are already running a little late and look out for the rest of the day and have no clue that I've got a problem patient coming in at 1130 and I've got an important lunch at 12 sharp I need to be gone by maybe 10 of etc etc so we pretty much are able to plan the day so that's my expert tip and I would strongly recommend that you consider utilizing that in your practice if you're not doing that already